New news coming out of the cycling world. Team Bora Hansgrove has unofficially, officially switched over to SRAM group set for the upcoming season of 2024. Uh, seemed to be following the footsteps of the success of Yumbo Visma. Is this because they want the same success that Yumbo Visma had? Or is it because they might normally seen a new group set rumors be launching next year, 2020, 2024, that everyone's kind of been talking about? So in today's video, we'll go over this whole entire group set scandal. Oh my goodness. Uh, talk about also Primo Rajlik going over to Bora and what the significance of that is. Maybe they got this group set to make him feel more comfortable. I doubt it, but we'll talk about it. And also, this seems kind of to be in the right direction. And should the team quick step fall in the direction? Because Specialized, uh, Specialized provided bikes to those teams, uh, Bora... SD Works, Trinity Racing, they're all SRAM. Specialized bicycles in general seem to be mainly SRAM focused from top tier to mid tier as well. Uh, is the next group set going to be going to Team Quick Step in the future? And uh, yeah, we'll talk about this. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. So right here we have a kind of a spy photo that was leaked out from a pro riders bicycle on a Bora Hansgrove team having a SRAM group set on here. They've been partnered with Shimano for about 10 years in the past, and this was taken by Lucas Ronald Lucas. Team Bora Hansgrove will ride SRAM next season. The team has not confirmed it, nor has SRAM confirmed it, but basically they said that someone reached out from Shimano that basically said, there was a gentleman from Shimano that said, Shimano's head of PR relations, Jonathan Davis, confirmed the rumors, which were sparked in recent days when a photo of a SRAM-equipped S-Works Tarmac SL8 was posted. I can confirm Bora has moved on to SRAM next season, he said. And this photo was, I guess, taken, reported by GCN, soon deleted, but then reposted by Lucas on his Instagram as well. Now, it doesn't seem that long ago. I mean, honestly, I think around 2020, 2021, it seemed like the whole entire pro peloton was dominated by Shimano. Um, everyone was giving SRAM crap for the front derailers. Everyone's giving SRAM crap for their failure of the front derailers. There was that YouTube meme or that kind of video of the gentleman having a mechanical failure with his front derailleur where he's like, Ba, 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 SRAM! You can fill in the blanks there. But kind of SRAM was a meme of the pro cycling world. Jump to Yumbo Visma jumping on board with SRAM and kind of signed that contract where I think I even made a video talking about um, said release new groups of SRAM and maybe they're going to it. They ran a lot of hybrid group sets, including a kind of a one by group set with an XPLR derailleur with a 1044 cassette in the pro peloton at the Euro at the Tour de France, and also at the Vuelta, and they had great success with it. A lot of one buys being ridden, um, a lot of two buys being ridden with very little mechanicals, if any, that I actually remember. And um, yeah, SRAM seemed to have a really good year in terms of what they did for that uh, season, especially with Yumbo Visma. I mean, obviously you have a Tour de France winner, you have the Giro winner and uh, Primo Rajlik going over there. And this does make you think, did Bora pick up SRAM because of the new Starboy they picked up, uh, Primo Rajlik, jumping from Yumbo Visma to Bora? Are they picking up SRAM to give him something familiar that he's used to riding for the past couple of years? Because he did win the Euro on that. He had the 1044 cassette with the XP larger layer and a one by situation there. It doesn't seem to be the case because the team is obviously bigger than the, just one guy, but it doesn't hurt to give him something he's familiar with. But like I mentioned before, specialized bicycles seem to pair really well with. SRAM group sets, the bicycles I sell in terms of like their entire lineup from S Works to Pro to Comp to Sport, they seem to be very SRAM heavy. Uh, even the women's team, uh, the SD Works team as well, they have a ton of success with SRAM and they have been partnered with SRAM for a very long time. Their bicycles are beautiful. And also their kind of uh, Trinity racing team as well. They've been riding SRAM for a while, and it seems to be following suit. The only team that's still remaining with a Shimano group set in 2024 um, on the Pro Peloton is Quick Step. Team Total Energies did have Shimano, but once Peter Sagan left, Shimano seemed to back out of there, and now they're being sponsored by Envy on there. Um, but is it because Bora has seen... Yumbo Visma have such success with this, or is it because they've seen this new group set that might be coming out that is supposedly supposed to reign supreme over Shimano, 
fix front derailleur issues, be lightest group set on the market, and also have some new features. I made a video about the spy photos of the new SRAM before. Um, if you guys want, I'll put a link down below where you guys can check it out. But this is confirmed. Um, there are spy photos of the Canyon team, Canyon Movie Star team, uh, riding these new style SRAM shifters. They look very GRX-y, but they're completely different from the old style SRAM. SRAM Red old SRAM shifters used to have a very sharp, rigid edge for the shifter hoods and used to be a 90 degree. These are much more ergonomic, much more longer. People say they look very small GRX, but they have this kind of old school style SRAM double tab look to them. Uh, hopefully they're very light. I always said in my videos in the past that SRAM double tap 10 speed and 11 speed used to be the pinnacle of mechanical shifting. Some people don't like it, but they were crazy lightweight. They were, in my opinion, very efficient for Florida. I don't know how they performed during climbing, but you literally smacked down, it jumped down. And then they were just stupid light. SRAM was known to be the light group set. I don't know where it got lost in the sauce that SRAM was now this heavier group set compared to Shimano. Um, but they have this beautiful looking spy photos of these uh, new SRAM shifters on here. And also there's this new kind of hidden button on the inside. So maybe that could be a function button for like a sprint shifter or maybe a functions page for your Garmin, whatever it might be. But I really got a feeling that whenever the SRAM Red releases, it's going to compete with the Durace in terms of hopefully a revamped front derailleur, hopefully a stupid lightweight group set and really sets a difference. Cause you saw the new SRAM Force that just revamped itself. It literally is SRAM Red, just black edition. So I'm hoping that SRAM Force took over SRAM Red and they have that price point for SRAM Force being 2,600 bucks. And I really hope that SRAM Red just makes this group set a step above that, that old Force system. And they really do put a difference between a Force and Red because there's this whole debate whether or not that Altegra has a big jump to Durace. Why should anyone buy a, one, uh, a Durace group set with 105 Di2s just as good or Altegra just as good? I really want to see these electronic group sets really have tiers to them and really give me a, me a reason, give a consumer a reason to buy a difference between a force and a red group set. Not just 50 grams of weight or 100 grams of weight. No, I want to be like, hey, the ergonomics of the shifters are different. The utility buttons are different. The cranks are different. The rear derailleur is different. I want it to be everything different. So is there a advantage in terms of mechanical, a race difference that Bohr maybe saw is like, we want that? Or do you guys just think that they're just going that because they got a different money system? There are really only three teams right now in the Pro Peloton that are rocking SRAM Red. Uh, you have Yumbo Visma. You have Trek. Um, I don't know the team name, but the Trek team name. Uh, and then also you have the Team Movie Star on the Canyon Bicycles as well. That is it. The other rest of the Pro Peloton are dominated by Shimano. Being that the BMC team that was, the AG2R, they're Ryan Camping. That team is no longer BMC. It is now a Van Rissel with Shimano. So there are only three teams right now, now including four teams that are riding SRAM Red. Will those teams start to have an advantage if the SRAM Red group set ever does come out? And two, will we see more teams jump ship to that? Because yes, people say there are money involved, there are sponsors involved. But two, Team Bora, which is the main sponsor for this, they're all about winning. I mean, they want their team to win. They're not in this sport. Obviously, they want advertisement and advertising dollars, but they want to be in this. They want to have a dog in the fight. They want to go ahead and support the team that they think is going to win. So they hopefully are making the right decisions to go ahead and figure out this situation. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Do you guys care about this? Are you guys excited about this? Do you guys think that their new SRAM Red group set will cause a buzz? Um, I got a feeling the SRAM Red group set is going to be completely different. And hopefully, uh, I'm, I'm very excited for it. So let me know what you guys think down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.